my channel. Today I am going through the new little minis from Natasha Denona. So I have the bronze and glow, the diamond and glow, and the blush and glow. So she just released the bronze and glow and I have already had the blush and glow in my collection. This is what the blush and glow looks like. I've used this for probably off and on for about a year. I think it came out last year, right? Am I wrong? I don't know. But these all retail for $19 each. I went ahead and picked up the Diamond Glow and the Bronze and Glow from Beautylish the other day. Now, these are $19 each, or you can buy all three of them for $57 on the Beautylish website. That bundle does not save you any money, okay? It doesn't save you any money. It's just a nice way to grab all three of them all in one, I guess. I don't know. I didn't obviously buy it like that because I already had the blush and glow in stock. So I just bought these two separately. This is actually a bronze blush palette. It's classified as a blush just in a bronze shade. So just know that I don't feel like this is going to work for every skin tone, which I get into that later on in my final thoughts. But the highlighter in this palette, this is the Glow Extreme. This is a medium highlighter and it is in the Diamond and Blush palette. So if you have the Diamond and Blush palette, the large palette, I'll put a picture right here. If you have that palette, you already have this shade, this highlighter shade that's in this palette. This bronze shade is a nice, uh, it's a nice warm tone, soft, like satin sheen type of a bronzer slash blush. Depends on your skin tone. Truthfully, I feel like it's all gonna be based on your skin tone, whether you wear this as a blush or a bronzer. So this palette is from the Daria palette. And if you have the large Daria palette that came out last year, this is a mini version of this. So both of these shades are from that palette. So if you have that palette, obviously you don't need this unless you don't wanna travel with the big palette, then you can just totally take this palette. That's completely up to you. Oh shit skis. And full disclosure, I don't own any of the big palettes. The only big palette that I have is the Bloom Blush and Glow palette. I don't have any of the larger palettes only because they're way too expensive, you guys. Like I think she needs to calm down the pricing. I think her pricing is way, way, way too cray cray. You know, these little minis are kind of good for those of you that are like me that you want to have something of the little Natasha Denona quality in your collection, but you don't want to pay the crazy prices. I don't feel like these are products that you want to use on a daily basis only because they're so small. You don't get that much product. Probably the only reason why you'd want to buy these is if you traveled and you wanted to take these with you. I just, I feel like these are just overpriced for the amount of product that you get. So all of these are four grams each. So these do not come with a lot of product. They're just way, 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 way too expensive to be using on a daily basis. But look how travel friendly they are. Gives you some options. And you know, I think that's probably, I think that's probably the only reason why you'd want to buy these is that they'd be travel friendly. That's just my opinion. Okay. Anyway, so that's what we are playing with today. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to jump straight into the tutorial. I'm going to show you guys how they apply on the skin. I'm going to come back and swatch them. The way that I swatched them in this video is I actually swatched all of the blush shades next to each other. And then I swatched all the highlighters next to each other. I also swatched some of these shades next to some of the products that I have in my collection, like the Marc Jacobs Tantastic Omega Bronzer. I also also swatched it and compared it to the Diamond Bomb because there is a shade in one of those mini palettes that's similar to the Diamond Palm Bomb from Fenty. I also compare one of the blush shades to the NARS Orgasm blush shades. So without further ado, let's jump right into the application portion of the video and I will see you guys in my final thoughts. Okay, so let's get playing with these three little mini blush palettes from Natasha Denona. Now, I've had this one for a while. I think I bought it last year when it first came out. When I first used it and first got it, I didn't love it, but I really started to love the shade. It's kind of the peachy pink shade. It kind of reminds me of the NARS Orgasm. So for those of you that like the NAR or NARS Orgasm shade, so this one up here is the Natasha Denona and this one is the NARS. I mean, you can see they're very similar, very similar. In fact, I would say the only differences between these two is the NARS Orgasm has little teeny bit of gold flecks in it, just a tiny bit. 
and the Natasha Denona one doesn't, but as you can see, they are very similar. I do really like it though, and I had to clean it up. <laughs> Before I come on camera, it was kind of a mess like all around because this is a smaller packaging. You know, your brush does make a mess with it, so I did clean it up. Um, but as you can see, I've used I've used it quite a bit over the last year, and I like it. Now, the new one is supposed to be a bronze colored blush. I think some people are assuming that it's a bronzer, but it's not. It's supposed to be a bronze colored blush. And so I I'm gonna go ahead and I've got three blush, I got three brushes here that are completely clean. I'm gonna go into this shade right here. That's pretty. That's a really, really pretty warm bronzer. If you're my skin tone, you could totally wear that as a bronzer. I'm gonna bring some of it up and around here because it is kind of that bronzy shade, but um, you know, this is a blush, but it's a bronze and glow, and so I think people are kind of getting it confused. If you read the description of this product, it is a blush. Um, it's just a bronzy shade, and I think it's really pretty. I'm gonna put this one over top of this side I'm gonna dab just a tiny bit, and this is very pigmented. I'm just gonna bring it right there, just to kind of bring out some of the peachy pinky in that. It's really pretty. Okay, now I'm gonna take another brush. I've got two of them here. I'm gonna take this clean brush, and I'm gonna go into this one, which is more of a purpley shade, and apply it on this side. Damn, that's pretty too, and I don't even like purple. These are pretty. These are really pretty, you guys. So this one is the Diamond and Glow, and so this is more of a diamond type sheer formula, and it kind of reminds me of the Diamond um, highlighter from Fenty. So I have that right here. This one is a little uh, creamier. This is a creamy formula from Fenty. This is more of a powdery, little bit creamy, but not as creamy as the one from Fenty. But I kind of have a feeling that they're gonna be probably the same. Um, first, I'm gonna swatch my hand, and we're gonna see, we're gonna see what the difference is between these two before I put them on the face. So I just went into the one in the Natasha Denona. I have it here, and I'm gonna kind of put it right here on my hand. So. Yeah, let's see if the one from Fenty is a little bit more pigmented. Not that you can tell, this one is the uh, Natasha Denona, this one is the Fenty. Not that you can tell on camera because this is such a light glitter formula, but um, I would say it's very similar. Let's see, this one right here is more of like a darker champagne highlighter. For me personally, I don't think I could use this shade as a highlighter only because I think it's too dark for my skin tone as a highlighter, but how I think this would be pretty to wear is to wear the bronze, like the, bl the bronze blush on, put it on the cheek and then maybe brush a tiny bit of this over top to give you a little bit of that uh, glow on top because it's not very pigmented. So I kind of felt like that would be really pretty. It's not, super, super uh, blinding or anything. So that's what it looks like. It's, of course, I'm gonna do better um, swatches, you know, at the end of the video. I'm gonna wipe off my highlighter brush. I'm gonna go down into this. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Not that I'm, I'm assuming it's probably not showing up on camera, but that just kind of gave that highlighted look. It's really pretty. I like I'm gonna go into this shade right here. This is in the Blush and Glow palette. And I'm going to apply a little bit of this on the high points of my cheek. Put a little bit right here. It's gonna be uh, very highlighted today. Um, 
You know, that one has a really like pinky undertone and it's not my favorite highlighter, but let's go ahead and try to put this over top of it just so you guys can see how pretty it is. So Oh, man. Oh, oh, shit skis. Okay, I just went really overboard with that. It's hella pigmented. Now I just have like this streak of glitter on my face. Damn it. All right, I gotta try to tone this down a little bit because I gotta clear up in my concealer. I am highlighted for days, you guys. So this uh, is crazy pigmented. I mean, it's, yeah, I got a little bit carried away. I'm gonna kind of spray my face with some setting spray and kind of melt it. This is the Glow Recipe uh, Watermelon Glow Fine Mist. Ooh, it's so good. Oh, okay, much better. Sometimes when you set the face, it will kind of just melt the highlighter into your skin and sometimes that's what you need especially when you're applying a product that's more glittery, you know? So that's it for trying it on. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and I will come back and give you guys my final thoughts. I'm gonna swatch everything side by side. I'm gonna swatch the highlighter side by side, the blush shade side by side so you guys can see what they look like versus each one. And then I will give you guys my final thoughts. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I am back. I went ahead and finished the rest of my makeup. Now, let's get into the swatches of these products and then I'm gonna give you guys my full opinion on these. So this one right here is from the Bronze and Glow. This is from the Blush and Glow. And then this is from the Diamond and Glow. And as you can see, um, this one definitely looks more like a bronzer up against my skin tone. I want to show you guys what this looks like next to the Tantastic from Marc Jacobs. So this is the bronzer from Marc Jacobs. And as you can see, the one from Natasha Denona is just really, really warm. So for those of you guys that like a nice warm bronzer, I think that that is a really nice option. Um, and I can see how it could be used as a blush as well because it, it's so warm. Sometimes with really warm bronzers, you can almost use them as a blush. So I kind of get that. Now that I have you guys zoomed in, I wanted to show you guys what the um, blush from the Blush and Glow palette looks like next to the NARS Orgasm. So this one up here is the NARS Orgasm and this is from the Blush and Glow. And as you can see, they're crazy similar. Even the way that they shift and they do have that peachy pink, corally type shade to them. So I would say you guys, if you have the NARS Orgasm blush, I do not think you need this blush and glow palette. I'm just saying. I just, I think they're too similar to really need both. Okay, and then right here are the shades from the highlighters. So this one is from the Bronze and Glow. This one is from the Blush and Glow, and this one's from the Diamond and Glow. And like I mentioned in the tutorial, this Diamond and Glow reminds me a lot of the Fenty Gloss Bomb. So I'm gonna actually swatch that next to it, just so that you guys can see just how similar they are. So this one up here is from Fenty. The one from Fenty looks to be a little bit more uh, white, if you will. This one has a little bit more of a beige undertone. This one is definitely more uh, crystal-like from Fenty, but they, they apply the same and they kind of feel the same. I would say the one from Fenty is a little bit softer as far as like dipping your finger into them. If you have the Fenty uh, Diamond Balm, I don't necessarily think that you need this Diamond and Glow unless you really, really want the blush shade from this palette. Okay, so here are my final thoughts on these three palettes, these little mini palettes from Natasha Denona. The Bronze and Glow, I feel like it's a perfect bronzer for light skin. I really do. I think it'd be really pretty as a bronzer for those of you that have light skin. The only problem is I don't think you're gonna be able to wear the highlighter. I think the highlighter is gonna be too dark for light skin. You could wear this as like a 
lid topper, you know, to if you really wanted that warm bronze, because it is a really pretty bronzer. It's very soft. It's a very soft formula and it really blends beautifully over the face. That's kind of my thing with this palette and I think a lot of the confusion is coming in. I like this shade for me who has medium skin tone. I'm a medium with a warm undertone. I like this as a bronzer slash blush and typically during the summer I like to wear a warm bronzer. Um, but this is a little bit too dark for me. I don't prefer my highlighters to be this dark, but that's just me. I like mine to be a little bit more champagne shades. This is a little bit darker, a little bit deeper than a champagne. It's kind of got like a golden undertone to it. So I think that's where the confusion's coming in, is in my opinion, the highlighter is perfect for a tan or deeper skin tone but I don't think that anybody that has a tan or deeper skin tone is really gonna like this. I think it would be pretty as a blush, but I don't. I don't feel like this is gonna be pretty on deeper skin tone. Hey, I don't have a deeper complexion, so you know, I guess I shouldn't say that because I just don't see this being, I just don't, for me, like, I think like really pretty corally peachy shades look beautiful on deeper complexions. I don't know that this is gonna look that pretty as a blush. So I think that's kind of where the confusion's coming in, but you know, again, I don't have a deeper complexion, so you know, it's not right for me to like throw that statement out, but I think that's where the confusion's coming from is that this shade right here isn't perfect for deeper skin tones, but the highlighter is. This shade is perfect for light, medium skin, but the highlighter's not, you know what I mean? So I, I don't know, I don't really like the combination of this, but I don't feel like this is gonna fit every skin tone. I don't feel like this is gonna work for everybody. That's just my opinion. As far as the diamond and glow, again, I was really surprised, pleasantly surprised by this blush. It does have that really pretty purple undertone and I think it's a really pretty blush. really like this glitter topper. I think the Fenty formula is a little bit better than this one, I'm just being honest. However, when I'm traveling and I wanna take, and I don't wanna take this big one, this will be nice to have. Do I feel like you need it if you have this? No, I really don't think that the blush shade is unique enough to say, um, if you have this, you'll probably never use this. So is the blush shade unique enough to get it? Probably not. Uh, this gloss balm is 0.28 ounces. That's eight grams of product. It looks like this palette total is only four grams. So it's exactly half the size. So just know that, just giving you guys options. I'm just kind of throwing it all out there. You guys have to make up your mind where you want to spend the money. These are just my, you know, observations and kind of comparisons to other things that you may have in your collection that I have here in my collection. As far as the blush and glow, again, if you have the NARS blush, I don't think you're gonna need this. I feel like the shade is too similar to justify the extra expense of buying this. Let's just say that you have the NARS Orgasm blush, but you really want the highlighter that's in this. This is actually in a larger size. It's the All Over Glow Shade number one. So you can actually buy this separately uh, without buying it with the blush. It's a bigger pan size. So that's just kind of some observations, some comparisons to the other stuff that I have here in my collection. Of course, it's your money. You guys have to make the ultimate decision. I'm just here to kind of break it all down, give you guys some options and opinions, and you guys have to make the ultimate decisions. So that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys again for all the love that you guys show me and this channel. It truly means the world to me and I hope to see you guys right back here tomorrow for another video and I love you all so much. Bye! Okay, so I'm gonna go into the fudgeroni. <sighs> so again, I just want to let you guys know this is from the diarrhea palette. So, did I say diarrhea? Nah, I didn't. Anyway, so...